Hey, what's up guys, it's your boy, Mr. Waffles. Now recently I've been watching a bunch of Star Wars for some reason. I decided to rewatch the prequels, and I am here to give you guys my own brutal review of the Star Wars franchise. I'm going to put this into two parts. This part is going to be me reviewing the prequels. Next, next video will be about the original trilogy. Um, the background gameplay is Star Wars Ball from 2. 2005 edition uh, version um and i'm playing as the republic army now there is a spoiler warning for these movies so for those who haven't seen the uh, the prequels yet and like to i highly doubt maybe except for episode three um click off the video right now <laughs> phantom menace it's not good it's straight up not good. I watched it. I regret watching it. Yikes. It's just not good. Okay. We're going to start off with the pros. There's a few pros. The memes. The memes are fantastic. The memes are great. Qui-Gon Jinn, another pro of this movie. Honestly, I used to not like him, but re-watching Phantom Menace made me like him more. His little lines that subtly jab at Jar Jar is amazing because he is saying what the audience wants to say to Jar Jar. Um, another pro, the Darth Maul duel. Fantastic. It's the best. That with the soundtrack, I'll get into that later. It's just very well done. And final pro, the soundtrack, most for the most part, is really, 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 really good. John Williams did it again. It's just fantastic soundtrack. <sighs> the cons, Jar Jar. There's so much Jar Jar. There's way too much Jar Jar. He gets so annoying. Oh my goodness. Uh, Misa want to die after watching that movie. Uh, young Anakin. Oh, again, not good. Not good. He, he just was not good. Um, CGI is kind of meh, but I guess they did their best for... 1999 or whenever this movie came out um the gungans are just so annoying throughout the film <sighs> and there's so many hilariously bad lines now this could be a part of the pros but i put it under the like it could go in both columns but i just there's so many bad lines I would give the Phantom Menace, Menace about a 2 out of 10 rating. Okay, Attack of the Clones. This was a little more complicated for me. Because it's awful, but it's not bad in a way. Like, it gets a lot of hate for a reason. Um, I'll just dive into the pros. Pros, Obi-Wan and most of his scenes and lines are really good. Just the banter between him and Anakin is just, it's good. Um, the introduction to the clones, that was great. When they show Obi-Wan on Kamino and they show the army, um, show the um, army of the Republic, fantastic. Count Dooku was good. He, 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 I would say he was a pro. Um, the Yoda versus Count Dooku fight, that was pretty lit. Uh, the soundtrack is, again, soundtrack fire from John Williams. And the introduction to Django and Boba Fett, very good. Uh, the cons. Now, this is where the cons outweigh the pros. But there are fewer cons. Anakin and Padme moments sucked. All of those 
not good. The I don't like sand to I can't breathe scene just not good. Not so it's not good whatsoever. Um the pacing through the film is really weird because I found like I found like the movie would have like the epic introduction to the clones, like the magnificent aren't they scene. Um and you see like the entire army like going on to those um ships and like just seeing the whole army they would go from that to freaking I hate sand scene and that that just kills it. It kills it. Um, and Jar Jar does have a few lines. <sighs> He's still as annoying as before. 4 out of 10 rating. Now, Revenge of the Sith. This might be one of my favorite movies of all time. I love this movie so well. Um, the pros... The opening space battle scene, fantastic. The introduction, like, the, just like, the whole, how, like, the, how both Obi-Wan and Anakin's spaceship goes into, like, the space battle, fantastic. The Anakin versus Obi-Wan, um, duel versus Dooku, part two, really good. Um, Obi-Wan versus Grievous. Very, very good. Um, Palpatine versus Mace Windu, also very good. Anakin and Obi Wan are very good in this movie, or I guess, good. Obi Wan's very good. Anakin, you can sense he has conf conflict in himself throughout the film, and he wants to. He's just good. Uh, Palpatine versus Yoda. And Anakin versus Obi-Wan. The climax. Or the one of the best Jedi duels I've seen. Um, that, that duel was just a lot of fun to watch. Both equally good. Um, plus... The you were the chosen one after Obi Wan defeats uh, Anakin. Fantastic. Um, execute Order sixty six. Also a really good heart and heartbreaking moment. Um, the soundtrack. I keep keep mentioning the soundtrack but it's just so good like john williams it's, he consistently puts his music at a high level throughout these films um and the best part jar jar has no lines i think jar jar has no lines i think I could be wrong. Not that I can think of. I might have just blocked that out of my memory. Uh, the cons, the writing between Anakin and Padme is still weak. It's still, it's still not great. But they, they, they tried to limit it as much as they could. But it was just a pretty big factor. It, it, it was a pretty big factor into that movie. So... Yeah, I would give this movie a 9 out of 10, as this is one of my favorite films I've ever seen. And that's all the prequel movies I have rated. Um, uh, next video, I will talk about the original series, original trilogy, sorry. Um, so, New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi. Um, yeah, um... Hope you guys subscribe. Hope you like. Hope you guys like the video. Um, see ya.